day fellow moto vloggers of Ananev on Aruba here. On this Tuesday afternoon, a quite warm temperature of 34 degrees Celsius today, quite warm. Not going far, so I thought I'd ride. Just go up to the motorbike shop. Um, today I want to make a special plea to all motorcycle riders to take it really easy. Um, a couple of people that are customers of the uh, motorbike shop um, well one won't be riding again unless they bring uh, unless he rides a three-wheeler had an accident took a corner too quick and uh, went into a um, some sort of a wire fence and um, cut his leg off That was around 2 o'clock in the morning, a few days ago. I haven't mentioned it before. Um, it was just so lucky that um, there was a car behind him and uh, they saved him from dying, from bleeding out and dying. If they hadn't have come along or seen it or whatever, he wouldn't be here now. Uh, I think he's still recovering in hospital. Uh, the iron ironery, uh, well, the um, irony about it all is uh, he was due to um, face court for driving without a license. So. Um, Obviously, he shouldn't have been on the road. Um, second one, well, last Saturday morning, there was a chap that come in and uh, he'd put a deposit down on an ER6, Kawasaki ER6, and was uh, desperate to get it. Um, it had a flat battery so he couldn't take it Friday night so Saturday morning they put it on uh, on charge the battery to charge the battery up and um, he came in about mm, half past 11 Saturday morning and was desperate to get the bike and we couldn't find the uh, rego papers so we had to ring up the owner of the business because he was um, having a Saturday morning off and find out where the rego papers were so we got them we gave them to him and uh, the bike went on the back of his ute and he uh, he took it home now yesterday um, got a phone call from the police they wanted to come down and speak to um, the owner about this particular bloke that bought a bike Saturday morning who was killed um, yesterday well I don't know whether it was yesterday or Sunday I don't know the full circumstances um, as yet Uh, everything's pretty sketchy at the moment so the, the problem is I, I actually remember the Blake bloke's face so yeah um, again the bike wasn't registered because you can't register a bike online if you have to change the rego papers over you have to do it in the office the registration office. So 
I I'll just going up the shop now and I'll find out a little bit more and uh, see if I can find out what happened so it will only take a yeah, second split second for you guys but a couple of hours for me so stay tuned okay now I know a little bit more I know um, what happened okay so on this last Saturday morning we picked the bike up about half us what would it have been about half past 12 and he took it home in his ute remembering that he didn't have uh, the bike registered he got home apparently he lives on a farm with his dad and his dad helped him unload it when they got it off the back of the ute he said to his dad oh, I'll just take it for a bit of a run up here uh, on his property but he uh, he did that but he did, must have decided to give it a bit of a bell on the uh, on the open road now according to reports a truck driver saw him go past him at, at, a, at a rate of knots with a t-shirt shorts and uh, no helmet and uh, he uh, went over this crest of a hill the guy in the truck and he saw a lot of dust just past uh, just on a corner on one of the corners there on the open road and uh, found him uh, wrapped around a tree and he had to call 911 now the uh, ironic part about it is his father's in the CFS that's the country fire service and they do attend some accidents and he got a text from his mates and uh, that there's been an accident a motorcycle accident and he put one and one together because his son hadn't got home so unfortunately he won't be riding anymore now things happen in threes one of our, another one of our customers got hit by a truck luckily he, he escaped with minor in injuries apparently it ran a red light and it just got his front wheel and threw him off so he, wa he wasn't too bad he had minor injuries so fellow moto vloggers my subscribers please be careful out there don't whatever you do ride above your potential I can't stress that enough don't ride above your potential bandit Nev on Ruby with this uh, bit of a solemn occasion um, and also the bike wasn't registered by the way bandit Nev on Ruby farewell please ride safe all you subscribers fellow motor vloggers like myself signing off cheers for now